You beautiful 99ers, hope you're having a wonderful day so far. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Sway to the 99. And in today's very special, very much requested video, I will show you guys how I am decorating for Christmas using all items that I have found at the 99 cent only store and at the Dollar Tree. So I'm really excited because I know so many of you have been asking me because I've been hauling Christmas items for weeks. <laughs> and you're probably wondering, what are you going to do with all that stuff? Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys me putting together my Christmas tree. Well, actually, it's a live tree, but decorating the tree and then just kind of showing you guys a tour of the final product. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new, definitely hit the subscribe button. Um, and if you are watching this before December 20th, I am actually doing my December giveaway. So definitely check out my latest walkthrough video. I will link that down below so you guys can enter that as well. So with that, let's get started. Video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of me decorating for Christmas using all items that I have found at the 99 cent only store in the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna show you how to decorate on a budget. So, and don't worry, I will show you some clips of me putting stuff up and then I will give you a tour of the final results. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do for um, is put the lights on and the way I always like to do it is I like to start from the top down so that way it can kind of cascade down and don't worry I'm going to be putting an angel here so you won't see this part you won't see this hanging um, but let me know how you guys put your lights and then I just literally um, circle around that way make sure everything is nicely and evenly spread out so I'm going to do this um, all around the tree until it's fully covered and if there's any leftovers I'll basically start from the top and cascade down again to make sure that the tree is evenly lit. Here is the lit tree. I kind of like the unfocused look. <laughs> so here is the lit tree and I do like to just use the classic um, white, can uh, white lights um, just so that way everything else that I put on the tree does kind of pop out. So I'm going to mess with the, with the lights just a little bit more to make sure everything is nice and even, but you kind of get an idea of how things are coming along so far. And then I'll bring you guys as I start putting on in the individual ornaments. All right, so now to put some of the um, ornaments on. First, I'm going to start off with is the balls. And these, I did pick this up at the 99. The one thing to note is that uh, they actually don't come with hooks. So you do need to buy them separately. So that is something to keep in mind. And, and unfortunately, at my local 99, they were all sold out. So I did grab these at Michael's, or at least the hooks rather. Um, so I'm gonna put all these up and then going to put up the nice um, little ornaments that I picked up at both Dollar Tree and the 99. So we have all of the little balls on now and now to put on some ornaments. I think I'm gonna start off with the little Santa that I picked up at the 99. Um, I'm going to nest it right here. There we go. And one of 100,254. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. For our next ornament, I'm going to put the little owl right here. Let it hang here. Perfect. I want to make sure everything is nice and just kind of hanging naturally perfect and this one i picked up at the dollar tree so let's see uh where he was going to go i think about here looks good it's going to adjust it and yeah i want it to just feel natural this feels about right so all right this is going to be its home and that's how it looks like in its final place and the little door I got at Dollar Tree, I'm gonna put it right here. Um, so basically what I'm doing right now is that I'm just looking for areas that kind of have some gaps and I'm just gonna basically fill them around with some ornaments. So I think this is a good spot for the little door and I'll show you the final result at the very end. And I think I got this little bell at Dollar Tree as well. Everything is either from the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent only store. So again, I found a little gap and again, right now, I'm just trying to fill the gaps where I see there is needed, something is needed, um, so everything will look even. So, all right, let's continue. All right, so I put on the angel on the top of the tree. I couldn't film and show you guys at the exact same time, um, but here it is. And here are 
my ornaments. <laughs> um, I'm still not done yet. I'm just wanting to show you the work in progress. I will do the final tour um, or kind of complete look in a moment for the entire apartment. Um, but I just wanted to show you where I am so far. So the tree is pretty much um, done. I may end up picking up a few more items. I'm not quite sure yet, but as you guys can see right there, I am putting all of the cards that I'm getting from you guys right there in the tree. And then of course on the other sides, we'll have all of the gifts. Um, that I'll be giving to my friends and loved ones. So this is what I have so far. So let's continue. So I have this Ray Dunn um, giant glass vase. I usually keep a white candle in here, but I thought I have actually a, a few extra ornaments. Oh, I don't want to spoil the unveiling, but I do have a few extra ornaments. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to throw them in there and create a nice little um, holder. So let's try that out. Start off with a few of the smaller ones, and big ones, just to mix everything in. Oh my God, it looks so nice. <laughs> I did shake it up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try and figure out where to put it. I think I'm gonna put it by the TV. Um, and put it on the floor, but look, it looks so fancy. <laughs> and all of these um, little balls that come from most from the Dollar Tree and some from the 99 cent only store. So, all right, I'm gonna continue on and decorating and then do the grand unveiling. And someone actually pointed out that the uh, little nutcracker, he's missing his little hat and I never noticed until I brought it home. But you know what? He's still special, so I'm keep I kept him. So I'm gonna put them those here in front of the TV and then um yeah i figured like so that the tv section is not too bare so let's continue all right so i do have my summer <laughs> beachy um frame here so i think i'm gonna put um i'm just kind of testing it out but i think i'm gonna put the stockings here or at least some of them here um that way this area has a nice little bit of a field as well so again i'm still kind of playing with things but i'll show you guys the grand reveal in a moment if you guys watch my cooking videos, you guys know that I do have a little coffee area. So what I thought I was gonna use is one of the, the green pills that I got. I am gonna put, um, I put a bag in here um, just to use as kind of a, as a base. And I'm gonna throw in my K-cups in here um, to make it look even fuller. And these are the uh, McDonald's McCafe Winter, Winter Blend. And these actually did come from the 99. A really good friend of mine, House of Sid, she actually gave them to me because she knows how much I love the McDonald's um, Winter Blend. So shout out to you, House of Sid. I will link her channel down below. So, ooh, this looks nice. All right, so now I'm gonna focus on the coffee bar and then I'll show you guys the final result. And continuing on with the coffee bar, some of my, actually a lot of my um, Christmas decorations that I had purchased previously did not make it when I moved to this apartment. But one of the things that definitely survived are these beautiful cups, uh, mugs rather, that I got. Actually, these were gifted to me by corporate um, when I was there in their corporate office. They did let me take a few things from the showroom. And of course, you know me, I had to take the um, coffee mugs. These are beautiful. These have that gold um, stain on them. Um, and I never use them and they still see even have the little tag. So I think I'm going to include them in my little coffee bar um, this year. So I'm really excited that these actually survived the move. So I'm in the couch now. This is no, to no surprise to you guys. I already did throw the blanket up here. And I, the reason why I did that was because I just needed a nice backdrop um, for some of my videos that I was filming. Right now I'm just kind of messing with the pillows and I'm kind of kicking myself for not purchasing more of the green one because it's so beautiful and it really helps to pop the colors. Um, but I, and these I actually did save from last year. Um, and one thing I noticed that the price of these pillows did go up this year. So I'm glad I purchased them and I saved them for this year because they're still perfect. And um, so yeah. All right, I'm gonna continue on decorating and I'll bring you guys back in a moment. All right, so for the final reveal of the tree, I did end up adding a few more items. I'll show you guys. Um, and I did, I do need to go get to the uh, post office to get the rest of my um, holiday cards that many of you have been sending me. 
and I just want to highlight a couple of the items. I think this is one of the first few items that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I got the red and silver options, and I am so glad I got the reindeer because they are so beautiful. I'll show you guys right there. And here are the little booties <laughs> from the 99. It's like reliving all of my purchases again. And you probably saw this one in my latest walkthrough. Sorry for the shaky camera. Um, love, love these little stars. The owls are so cute. I had to go back and get another one because <laughs> I was like, I need two. So here is the black, black and white. And here is the red and black. And the little Santa. I think I got these at the Dollar Tree. These, this was from the 99. I think this was Dollar Tree. A little house. Um, you can barely see the light, but there's a light there. I got that at the 99. Beautiful reindeer. I am kicking myself for not purchasing the wooden ones because they were 99 cents. They were so beautiful and I thought I'll get them another time. And after that, I never saw them again. This one supposed to light up but I think the battery died but just showing you guys my little tree the tree actually did come from Home Depot um, the prices actually did go up the original one that I wanted to get which I usually get um, cost $75 now which is a little crazy <laughs> um, but they also have I did love the little beautiful snowman and I did add some candy canes so that is my little tree so now for the rest of the apartment. So for the kitchen, I did try to keep things a little simple because obviously I do need to utilize this constantly. So I did just use the plate um, as a spoon holder, the one that says cookies for Santa and the beautiful towels. I think purchased these at the Dollar Tree and this I got at the 99 cent only store and it matched really well with the towels and the pot holders, which I think these came from the Dollar Tree. I've lost track. <laughs> and now my coffee bar. So really excited about this. I'm really proud. <laughs> um, so I do have the little tumbler that I purchased at Dollar Tree. And this beautiful sign did come from the 99. Um, as I mentioned before, the mugs, these were actually from last year. Um, so I was thankfully, thankfully able to save them. Um, Here's my little coffees. Again, thank you again to the House of Sid. I did find this scarf at the Dollar Tree, but I decided to use it as kind of like a little bit of a runner for the coffee bar. And there is R2-D2, the French press. And to keep in, <laughs> keep in the um, Star Wars theme, I did put a little um, Darth Vader hat on the water boiler, whatever, I don't know how you call it. But anyway, I put a hat on it just to, you know, so it's not so lonely. <laughs> um, and I love, love these. I think I'm just going to keep this one here just as simple decor. I'm sorry for the, the lighting. Um, yeah, I decided to keep both here and not use one at work. And I do have a few more mugs. I'll try not to show too much of the outside. Um, I did get this one at, I think, at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put a little tea light on the, the uh, mason jar. This is Joy. Now let's see over here, we have the North Pole's finest candy canes and this purchased at the 99. And I usually used the um, Cusinot runner, I mean dry mat, but they had some at the 99. Um, this was a nice plot and it went really well with the kitchen. So I figured, you know what, I'm gonna use that one instead. Let me just show you. And here is how the kitchen looks. And again, if you guys have, if you guys did watch my home original home tour, you guys know that I like to keep things very simple and not overly cluttered. I like things organized and neat. So this is what the kitchen looks like. All right, so now let's go into the living room and show you what I did here. So I did put up the um, the stockings on the um, <laughs> beachy um, frame. It just I thought it was an interesting take, you know, since now we live in California. There was definitely no snow here, at least in the Bay Area. So I thought it kind of tied things back into my apartment. Um, and now for the rest. <laughs> um, I don't really watch a lot of TV, so I was okay with putting the um, nutcrackers here. And I do have the fireplace going. 
Um, and I did have these beautiful stockings, so I decided to um, leverage them by putting them here. And I thought this was really nice. So it sort of acts like a little bit of a chimney. And you guys remember, I did use my Ray Dunn candle holder and put filled it up with, with leftover um, ornaments, or not ornaments, the balls that I had. So that is part of that. And now for the coffee table. <laughs> I did find the beautiful um, gingerbread house at the Dollar Tree, and I thought this was really cute. It kind of kind of just brings everything together. Um, and my little nativity scene, I've had this probably now for three years, and I did purchase this at the 99 for 25 cents. <laughs> Um, so I was really excited and this definitely has kind of survived so I'm really glad because I paid 25 cents for it and I did purchase these candle holders at Dollar Tree. I am planning on putting a little tea light in there um, at nighttime and here is the um, extra sun that I put up. So here is my little coffee table and I may end up adding a thing or two here and there but as I mentioned I do like to keep my apartment very simple not overly um, not too too crazy so that is um, that is for the table. All right, so now for the final part. All right, so here is the couch. Um, again, I do like to think, keep things very simple, so I just did throw in um, the blanket, and it does kind of do a nice a way of bringing everything together. Um, and as you guys can see, I have my pillows here, and there is my view. So that is all of my um, decor for my apartment as you guys can see it's not overly cluttered at least for me um, everything just kind of works very well together and best part I did this all on a budget I think in total um, not including the tree <laughs> I spent about $50 to decorate my apartment and of course leveraging things that I already had from the previous year so I hope you guys enjoy my little um, bonus video I am so thankful to you guys for this year. It's been an amazing year, and I'm just so, so thankful um, that you guys have been watching me for now, basically a year. Um, so thank you so much. I'm so, so excited and so happy for what is coming in 2020. I'm getting emotional just thinking about it because, um, yeah, I just have some really big things planned, and I just can't wait to tell you guys very, very soon. So thank you so much for watching. Um, as I mentioned, I do have a giveaway going on, so definitely check out that video. I will link it down below so you guys can enter my December giveaway. And I'm also going to be doing a Dollar Tree giveaway, so definitely stay tuned for that video as well. So with that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Definitely check out the 99 Shopaholics on Facebook, and I will be back later. So until then, have a great one, and as always, don't forget to do the 99.